Totem Pole Season 1 was full of twists and turns, but some moments stood out above the rest. They had you talking, commenting, and going on Twitter. These are the top 10 most memorable moments from the Totem Pole Season 1. My name is Wesley Bryant. I'm the creator and executive producer for the Totem Pole, and I am ranking based on entertainment value, how much drama it caused in the game, and how much the fans of the show talked about each moment. It goes without saying that there are going to be a lot of spoilers in this video, so if you haven't seen season one, you can binge all six episodes right here on YouTube. And stay up to date about Season 2 by subscribing and following Totem Pole Game on Instagram and Twitter. This is just my list, and as I made it, I could not help but remember watching these moments as they happened. From behind the camera, it was crazy and fun to watch. This cast had everyone behind the camera on the edge of our seats. <laughs> Here we go. Number 10. Tim repeatedly gets picked as the Switch. Tim was picked as the Switch in almost every episode, and it was by random draw. He was not too happy about this while he was in the game, because it kept forcing him to show his cards. But after the first few, he started to use the Switch to his advantage. If only he had taken someone else out of the game. Question is, who am I gonna eliminate? I honestly don't know which one to take out. Mason, Chandler. I'm going to switch Allison and Chandler. Okay. <clears throat> Number nine, the rope fight challenge. This challenge was obviously a fan favorite from MTV's The Challenge, but with a totem pole twist. The winner of the battle gets to pick two players to go next. This challenge gave us intense brawls and literally had the players rolling on the ground. Emery and Micah's battle impacted the game because Micah gave her immunity later in the episode. I'm excited to say that we kept this challenge for season two, but we added mud this time. I'm going to leak too much if I keep going, so I'm just going to move on. <laughs> Number eight, Janice returns to the game. The players did not like this twist because they worked together to get the first four players out of the game, but those four players were able to battle back. Jackson came very close to beating Janice. He started watching her and counting her blocks, and she caught on to him, so she was able to move her blocks after locking her number in. Jackson fought until the last moment, but it wasn't enough. When Janice returned to the game, the cast literally was shocked, and they were bent out of shape over it. <laughs> they wanted her out again, and sadly, it was a revolving door, and the twist that was coming next did not help her out at all. She was one vote away from staying, but it wasn't enough. Number seven, Allison and Tim tried to flip Emery to their side. At the final five in the game, Nick had immunity for the third time, but had it taken away from him. Mason played a power card that allowed him to steal it and give it to someone else. Allison and Tim saw this moment as a chance to take Nick out of the game. They created a master plan to split Mason and Nick's votes while Allison pulled Emery over to the side. In the end, it didn't work and Tim was voted out by Emery's sole vote. Although it was not a successful plan, these two players had just a, a few moments to decide what to do and they did the best they could. It was exciting to watch there in person, during that day, and then also in the edit whenever the episode came out. Number six, Nick sends Garcelle home in a battle. Mason chose to save Nick from the bottom of the totem pole and it unleashed a twist on the game. Nick had to pick a player to battle and the winner got to stay. He picked Garcelle, who was starting to emerge as a strong player in the game. When Nick sent Garcelle home, it actually helped Mason's game because she was onto him and wanted him out next. And he did not even know it. With Garcelle out of the game, Mason was able to work his way into alliances. Nick, in the end, sent G home and helped Mason in the game. Fun fact, Mason actually said that this was the pivotal moment for him in this season because watching it back, he said that he never would have won if Nick would not have taken out Garcelle. He thinks he would have been voted out quickly with Garcelle still in the game. Number five, Mason and Nick's final battle. Speaking of Mason and Nick, these two players fought until the very end. 
Mason and Nick were in an alliance and worked closely together the entire game. But in the end, Mason realized that Nick was going to win because the jury really liked him. He turned his back on Nick and he did not hide that he was doing it. Nick tried to bargain with Mason, but nothing worked. After 45 minutes of an endurance challenge, Nick dropped his blocks, and at the same time, his game. Number four, Hannah's expose card. Hannah played hard, and almost the entire first episode was about her. She found the expose card and had decided not to use it. But after noticing the other players distancing themselves from her, she decided that she would try to build some trust. She walks in on a conversation about herself and tells them that she can make everyone vote out loud. So Hannah walks in the room with this exposed card and she tells all of us like, I have this card and that means all of you guys are gonna have three votes out loud, but she is thinking it's gonna get crazy, someone's gonna be thrown under the bus, but like she's gonna be thrown under the bus and she's doing it to herself. The alliance that was going to vote her out started to scramble to find another answer. This drama stirred the pot and created lasting effects for the rest of the game. In the end, she played the card, but it wasn't enough to save her. Hannah, you were gone too soon. Number three, Chandler and Lydia split by the safeguard. Chandler and Lydia were the twist in the cast. They came into the game as a couple and tried to use it to their advantage. However, the secret did not stay a secret for long. Micah won the top of the totem pole and placed them at the bottom. In an effort to save himself, Chandler convinced Kadia to pick the save card, and she does. However, the save card was that the next to bottom player is eliminated. So in this case, it was his girlfriend Lydia, an elimination that no one saw coming. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. The next to bottom player is eliminated. <sighs> oh okay. my gosh. That is not how I expected them to Number two, Mason backstabs Micah. This was the moment that turned Mason into a powerful player. He was secretly in the background the entire game, but when he had a chance to eliminate someone, he took out one of his closest allies. Absolutely no one on the cast, or any of us behind the camera, saw this coming. Mason thought that Micah was a threat, which I will say he was, and took him out of the game without saying anything else. From this point on, Mason kept getting blood on his hands. It didn't matter if you were in his alliance or not. And finally, number one. Nick votes Kadia. <laughs> the most memorable and game-changing moment from my standpoint was Nick voting Kadia out at the first vote. Hannah played her exposed card and forced everyone to say their votes out loud. The cast had already voted in the confessional room, so they were not allowed to change their votes. Nick voted for Kadia, and after that, he could never go back. This moment was like a green light on Kadia's game because she called him out right there. The rivalry between these two all-star players was fueled by this moment and it shaped a big part of the narrative for the entire season. Do you agree with my list? There were so many things that could be in the top 10, I could not pick them all, but what do you think were the most memorable moments? Season two is coming out this fall, so be sure to subscribe and follow Totem Pole Game on Instagram and Twitter. You can also find merch on Redbubble. Anything that we make from merch will go towards production for future seasons. Thank you for watching.